so bad. I need to like part my, why does my forehead look so big? Hi guys, welcome back to my shitty ass channel. It's about a special type of girl. We call her, Carly Steele. Um, today I am doing an unboxing video and yeah, I know before I even get this started I should probably tell you guys why I've been gone and blah 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 Everyone's like currently you haven't uploaded in a month and I know it's true But honestly I'm gonna be 100% real with you. No excuses Really the honest truth is that I've just been uninspired. I haven't really known what to film I ran out of story times. I don't have anything else interesting going on in my life and um, all my ideas I do on me and Connor's channel and any of my vlogs is on me and Connor's vlog channel. So I have really just felt uninspired and um, I thought maybe going into something that I love every day, which is makeup, would be a good way to go back in to the flow of things. Basically, this video is all about Sephora. So if you guys don't know, there was a 20% off sale. Beauty Insider was 15% off. VIB was 20% off and VIB Rouge was 20% off but VIP Rouge had two weekends and it was like a weekend early I think it was on the I think it was on the third and fourth or something like that I don't know whatever the first weekend of November was that's basically when the sale was and I am a VIB Rouge because I have an unhealthy fucking obsession with Sephora so I'm a VIB Rouge which means you spent a shitload of money when you shouldn't have basically that's what it means and I got this huge box and I spent about two months of car payments on this. So I thought I would do an unboxing video. Um, I'm thinking of doing more makeup based videos for now on. I'm still going to do story times. I'm still going to do my funny things, but I just thought this would be a good way to come back to my channel to show you guys. I've been inspired as you can see. I have a makeup vanity now. I have a bunch of things in there and I'm going to do a whole video on that. And basically I just really needed a bunch of time to get re-inspired and me getting a vanity and me filling it and me having a place to do my makeup really inspired me and then this 20% off Sephora thing called me and I was like girl what? So basically we're gonna open this $1,500 Sephora box and I got another box, I got two boxes. The three things I got in my first box were this is a Sephora blush, winter blush palette um, Golden State of Mind ColourPop. I love some ColourPop. You guys know me. I love some ColourPop. And Semi Precious ColourPop palette. So, um, also the reason why I look like absolute trash is because I wasn't planning to do this video because actually on my tracking information it said this was supposed to come tomorrow, but it came tonight. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. I love my stuff early, but I was planning to do this tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I got the Sephora Winter Blush the Golden State of Mind ColourPop and the ColourPop Semi Precious. So if you guys know, ColourPop just got into Sephora, which is super awesome. So one thing that really bugged me about the um, ColourPop stuff is usually, I have a lot of ColourPop stuff. I have a lot of their travel eyeshadow palettes and the ones that you can kind of change. I have a lot of their brushes. If you guys look in the back, a lot of the brushes are theirs. Um, I have a lot of their eyeshadows and a lot of their lipstick. But for some reason, the way that this, I already opened this on a broadcast, the way that this was packaged actually kind of bummed me out because there was a little dot of eyeshadow like everywhere. I already wiped it off, but you guys can't really see. And these aren't really pressed very well. It looks like whatever pressed it, I don't know if it's like a machine or like a regular person. I don't really know anything about makeup that much. Everything is just off. It looks like it's all off center. Like you can see the ring about like where they pressed it. Let me try to like, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like, the ring isn't matching the thing. It's not a big deal, but I mean, it kind of bugs me. It just depends on who's using it. Other than that, the colors are really nice. It just looks a little bit cheap and I think it looked better online. So this might be a return. I love ColourPop though, love it. And then the same thing happened with this palette. I'm gonna show you guys this palette. There was eyeshadow blotches everywhere. I think there's still one on there. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's two eyeshadow plate things there. It kind of looks like they kind of rushed it and that one isn't on center. As you can see, they, it looks like they pressed it, but kind of missed the outline of where it was supposed to be. I know I probably sound like a greedy bitch right now. I'm not complaining. I love the product nonetheless. I love ColourPop. I'm just showing you guys what my thoughts are and I'm very thankful I was able to even get this in the first place. I know a lot of people can't afford makeup so I'm not trying to be 
sound like a picky bitch in any way. I'm just showing you guys my opinion on it. So yeah, uh, the Sephora Winter Blush Collection was perfect. The packaging was great. Um, it was a little smaller than I thought, but a lot of Sephora things are like that. I ordered this online, so I couldn't really see everything online. So we're gonna open this second box right here. This is the heaviest Sephora box I've ever got. I better be a VIB Rouge for the rest of my life. <laughs> Whoa. So I'm gonna take this out first, and I'm gonna show you guys this box. Oh, this box is filled to the top with things. So this first thing is a Micro Mini Corrector for Be by Beauty Blender. So they're four little beauty blenders, and they're actually the color, they're actually the four colors of color correcting. So um, I always use green because green cancels out redness. So this was a really good investment for me because I do conceal my redness um, and stuff like that. So this is for color correcting and they're little, they're tiny and they're super, super soft and they're just amazing. The next thing I got was two, this kit with two beauty blenders and the beauty blender cleaner, which was really helpful for me because I don't know if you guys can see, you probably can't, but when I do do a vanity thing, you you guys will see that I have like a holder for my beauty blenders, and um, they're always so dirty because I never purchased this because I was like, oh, you don't need a special one, but honestly, this beauty blender cleaner works like 100%, so if you guys are planning on purchasing a beauty blender, I highly suggest buying the beauty blender cleaner. I'm like dumb, and I was like, oh, I don't need it, but girl, you definitely need this to clean your beauty blender, trust me, because nothing else will get it out, Any nothing. So, this next thing I got, which I also thought were going to be bigger, but Sephora, you know, expensive for no reason. Um, I got the Star Studded 8 Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick Set um, from Stila. I was really looking to buy some new lipsticks, but I'm really picky. I really don't like dark colors. I feel like they just I just look older than I am with dark colors for some reason, but I did want to try out some Stila lipsticks because I don't have any. So basically it comes in a pack of eight and honestly I think this was like $58 which is kind of expensive for eight lipsticks but at the same time it's not but these are like really tiny. The next thing in here is the contour cream kit and I think this is just the oh this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now I have their dip brow stuff. I have Anastasia dip brow pomade and brow wiz and I'm like obsessed. So, and I also have a couple of her eyeshadow palettes and I also have her glow kits. So I, I've never went wrong with an, Anas, with an Anastasia thing, but I just got the, I think this is light to medium. There's two, there's a light to medium and then a medium to dark. So if you have a darker skin tone, you get the other one, but I'm light to medium. And yeah, they're just a bunch of cream colors and I feel like it's really universal. You could use this, like I would probably use this if I'm spray tanned, this if I'm not, and then this in the winter probably. Like right now I'd probably use this one because I'm like really pale right now. But yeah, so love this palette. It's so cute, the packaging is super cute. You guys know me, all about packaging, right? I'm Now that I'm opening everything, I'm realizing, hey Carly, how many blush kits do you really need? because you already have a full drawer full of blushes, you already have a Sephora palette full of blushes, you just ordered another Sephora blush kit, and now you're ordering another. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I have a little bit of an addiction because how many different shades of blush could you possibly need? I don't know. But oh my gosh, this is really pretty. Yes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I ordered this twice. How tired could I have possibly been? Golden State of Mind twice. Good job. I want to see if this packaging is better. Honestly, yeah, this one is perfect. This one looks amazing. This one is clean. It looks perfect. So honestly, maybe I just got a bad batch. Hmm, I might have to give this to one of my friends. I don't know which friend because none of my friends really like makeup as much as I do. I've been seeing this all over Instagram, which, girl, you've been good with the promotions, okay? Because I see it. I feel it. Yes. Ooh. Don't even get me started with this. I can't. Oh my gosh, don't even. So beautiful. Might just have to cry. Oh my gosh, that color Cosmo. I'm fainting, dead. <laughs> now, I don't have the prices to all this stuff, but I will leave the link to the Sephora website with these products all in the description. So you guys can see, I don't remember the price. I mean, I could probably find the price for you, but I don't really think that's important. All I know is that this shit was expensive. So if you guys are looking for something inexpensive, don't buy Sephora, okay? Okay. My next thing, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Like I'm looking at the things I've ordered and I'm now realizing how crazy I am. So I got the Sephora Pro Palette. Pro Pigment 
palette and okay so i have no idea where this stopped recording but either way i got the sephora pro palette and i'm thinking i'm gonna have to return a lot of these things because i'm realizing i have a lot of the, like things that look almost the exact same but i probably won't return them because i'm like a makeup fanatic and you know you know what my logic was honestly i was like oh i bought a vanity which means i need to have buy makeup to fill it so that means i need to spend a thousand dollars on sephora where's my logic any excuse to buy makeup, I'm there. I also got Tarte Pro eyelashes, but you know, your girl already has a whole drawer full of eyelashes, literally right here. Like I have over 30 eyelashes. Do I really need more? Look, I have so many, it's not even closing. Then I bought Stila Liquid Eyeshadow, which I've seen on Instagram, and I was like, you can, you have to be kidding me. I'm gonna have to swatch one of these right now because I've been hearing all about this, and I just can't, not swatch it right now so this is the first thing i put in my cart i don't know if it was this color but that is a joke bye why is it burning my hand am i allergic ah oh it's making my hand really itchy and tingly am i allergic to this ah. watch me put it on my eye my eye like slow shut so another thing i got is bb spray flexible hold hairspray so i got a little one of this because i don't use hairspray very often i only use hairspray if i really want my curls to stay which is like almost like never i usually want them to fall and be loose so i usually don't use hairspray but i got it that's why i got a small bottle but you know just to have a good hairspray so the next thing i got is a bb thickening spray pre-styler now i also thought this would be a lot bigger than it is um this is just pre-styler so basically you spray it in your hair when it's wet and then blow dryer it and yeah so hopefully this works good the next thing i got is a contour powder kit which i also don't need like how i can't i'm gonna return everything because i'm starting to feel really guilty by anastasia so i have the cream now i have this uh another thing i got another Ana how many anastasia things am i gonna get i got the prism um eyeshadow kit i was gonna get subculture but i heard a lot of controversial about it so i was like you know let's just go with the one that's safe that everyone loves which is prism there's a really bunch of cool colors there's like a bunch of yellows in here which is super cool yeah sorry connor is yelling playing xbox the next thing i got is my tried and true duo eyelash glue i do love house of lashes but it gets super stuck on my eyelids and it takes me forever to get off so this is what i go to because it's easier to get off my eyelids um then i got the so I got another Stila eyeshadow, which is like the same one that made my hand itch. I don't know what color that's in. Oh, this I was actually really excited about, which is the Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream Palette, which is basically like um, color correcting palette, as you can see. So I got the color correcting palette because I don't have anything to color correct. And I was like, girl, yes. And then it went perfectly with my beauty blenders. So you know, smell logic. I have to buy one thing, skip to buy the other. Ooh, this is so pretty. This packaging right here is what made me buy it, honestly. So this is the Sephora Winter Magic Palette. Eight shadows in it, and this is a $32 value, and I think it was cheaper than $32. I feel like it was only like $12 or something. Um, I'm not really sure, but I don't know if you guys can see, but it's full of glitter, and I just can't. And I want to open it, but I'm not going to, so... The next thing I got is the Living Proof Full Thickening Cream Boost Body. Um, it's basically a leave-in conditioner, I think. So you do it to damp hair and you rub it in your hair. And yeah, I'll let you guys know how this works. The next thing I got is the Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. I really wanted something for Christmas and winter. And I thought that this silver color would be perfect just to put above my regular eyeliner and have a little oomph to my makeup so and then i have an anastasia beverly hills brow wiz i have a different color um, i got a bunch of different colors because i want to be able to actually do my eyebrows in a different way like i want to have darker at the end lighter at the front so i got a bunch of different colors um and just to see you know how it works so yeah tart eyelashes and now i think i'm gonna return some of this honestly um, I got the black duo lash glue. I got another heavy metal urban decay eyeliner And then I got another one and I'm not really sure what colors these are this one says that it there a color on this one There's not but I know that I got three of these so I got a bunch of different eyeliner colors in glitter i got another glitter and glow eyeshadow i got another i got a brow definer in color soft brown i'm usually a dark brown but i was like soft brown you know because you guys know i want to like change up my look 
And then I got a Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner. I'm really about liquid eyeliners, but I thought that doing that having this would really, I'd be able to use it more, like if I'm doing more looks where I'm doing a cat eye or something like that. So I got the Longwear Bobbi Brown Eyeliner, and then it also came, well, I bought this brush number 12, a dual-ended angled brush from Anastasia Beverly Hill, and I thought this would be perfect for brows and stuff like that and eyeliner i also got this the wing master eyeliner brush maybe this is the one i got for for winged eyeliner i like how it came in a package like this yes this is the one i got so i got that makeup brush i got the sephora dramatic wine line 24 hour felt tip liner i got another anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade even though i already have two i got the sephora collection of lip glosses i feel like lip gloss is really good in the winter it makes you look dewy it makes you look moisturized stuff like that i'm really about lip glosses in the winter a lot um i got another anastasia beverly hills um dip brow pomade so that's cool i'm like i really have a problem like i'm starting to realize the thing i got is another anastasia brow definer what is wrong with me somebody help me then i got another glitter and glow oh my gosh <laughs> then i got this tweezer man studio collection epilator i think this is called i don't know what this is called but you know it's like you roll it up on your face and it like removes the hair i usually just like shave my face or like wax it but i thought this would be faster easier even though it's way more painful and then i got a bunch of sephora um eyeshadows i got a pack of so i got a total of six i have a yellow one a pinkish one with sparkles a brownish one with sparkles a dark matte brown a matte purple and another brown one do i need any of this no do i have a problem yes so yeah that's everything i got from sephora um i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys want me to do any first impressions on any of these let me know i'd love to do that with you guys also let me know if you want a vanity collection and let me know if you guys are okay with me kind of moving my channel in kind of a makeup direction but also still doing story time stuff like that i just want to focus more on makeup because i realized it's something i really love to do so yeah i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching i hope you guys subscribe and like this also follow me on instagram I'm doing a giveaway for makeup so all you have to do is go to my instagram and comment why you want the makeup and I'll, maybe i'll pick you i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and stay confident bye guys Poke a bikini with the brown hair. I love her when she comes around here. Damn, tell me when you come to town. We can wear them headphones, baby, no sound. Damn, what up, Carly? What's up, girl? Tell me what I gotta do to make you my girl. Huh. With that Louis Vuitton, I can see you at the Icon. Stuntin' in the night, be my wife.